Hello friend, in this video I will show you how to place buy order and sell order in live market. So the code are same that we already discussed in our previous video. So there are no change in the code and all are same as it is in our previous video. I placed here a sample code in this order placement function block and this is uh, the file uh, here kite settings dot file from this file we get the API key and access token uh, look at this uh, code here order type limit order product type CNC and the transaction type and this is a transaction type by order so this is the predefined parameter which already mentioned in uh, the zero the kite connect module so i use that okay so this is our this is our trading this is my trading account from where we uh, uh, from where we can see the executed order or placed order here yeah. so order okay uh, i show you these two windows side by side so that you can understand better uh, the screen is uh, very small so I close this uh, window this is not necessary for this program okay. so this uh, this is um, trading account and this is the program window okay so restart the kernel I restart the kernel once again so clear all previous data The market is live so I run this program once so some error is here and uh, we want to see uh, what is the error so go through this uh, go through the no uh, in order placement no order is placed so in this error we find the which is the error okay uh -huh. in, uh, okay in this line okay. uh, this is the error code the error is your order placed is lower than the current actually this is what has happened we place uh, the order price is uh, here which is the less than the lower circuit value so if you place a buy order which is uh, should which should be the above or equal to the lower circuit price okay so in info system this is the lower circuit price so we should place our order above this or equal to this price so I put here the price I put the price is 14,000 uh, 1410 uh, this price is above the lower circuit price so okay now we execute this code uh, go to uh, go to the order page okay just look at that I just execute uh, once uh, order place okay uh, run okay emphasis one quantity order is placed open uh, look at this open order one emphasis 40,010 one order is placed so this is buy order and 14,010 is the buy order price and this is placed 
so at present and the for uh, if uh, the current market price is just uh, below the 14010 then uh, infosys price or below 14010 then this order will be executed okay so this is the limit order I run this code once again to place another order. Okay, execute this code, and the second order is placed here. And uh, in these two order, the current Infosys market price is 1588, and our buy price is 1410. So when the market price is below. 1400 then this two, uh, order will be executed so every time you run this code then another order is placed here now I cancel this two order from this trading window okay. here transaction type so we can place the sale order by just uh, change this uh, program parameter so here the transaction type is buy so we change it to sell look at carefully transaction type sell and we execute this code some error is uh, uh, rejected sell one infosys rejected because insufficient holding actually i place this order in cnc so in my portfolio in my demand account no infosys stock is there so this uh, order is executed uh, rejected so i change this code to mis and i set the price to 16 1600 and execute this code so successfully execute the successfully execute and the one sale order is placed here and that is the infosys is one quantity and the target price is 1600 and the current uh, 1600 and the product type is mis okay so in this way we can uh, we can place sale order okay Okay, now we cancel this order okay. in this two order execution I have shown you the limit order placing so now I am discussing about the current market order so if you just place your order and that will be instantaneously executed so in that case we use some tricks the order must be limit order but the uh, uh, price uh, in case of buy order just uh, the target price just below the market price so the market price is some bit of higher uh, some point uh, some fraction higher than the uh, target price so in that case the if I place this order then this order will execute instantaneously and also in the case of sell order I just place uh, the sell price uh, just equal to the market price or some fraction below the market price so in that case the sell order will be executed instantaneously Here I just change uh, the set uh, if this is a sell order so I change it to buy order first buy order and the price is just uh, okay. transaction type buy and the order price is uh, the Infosys current market price uh, from this trading window.
तो मार्केट प्राइस इज दैट एंड पुट इट हियर और लेफ्ट लेफ्ट पैरामीटर एस सेम ओके एग्जीक्यूट दिस कोड जस्ट प्लेस द ऑर्डर एंड एग्जीक्यूट इट साइमल्टेनियसली सो कंप्लीट वन बाय ऑफ इंफोसिस ऑर्डर वन क्वांटिटी एट दिस प्राइस फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड एटी सेवन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव दिस इज एग्जीक्यूटेड ओके सो एक्चुअली इट इज लिमिट ऑर्डर but uh, we adjust the price in that way that it can execute simultaneously when we place the order also in that way in this way we place the sell order okay the sell order transaction type sell and the price i just uh, sell one quantity buy and sell just one point high so that i can gain one point so i put it here one point high and you know lift things and and other things are same as it is so I execute this okay so this is a this is a limit order and when the price is met then this order will execute So if I set the price just below uh, the current market price or equal to the market price, then this sell order will execute simultaneously. So I just want to gain one point, uh, so that I placed here, and this order is waiting for the execution. Okay, the order, the sale order is executed at uh, my set price. So, friend, in this way, you can place buy order and set order and execute them. For algo trading complete program, buy order, sale order at the basic building block, along with these two block, other other functions transactions are required to build a complete program. In our next video, we will discuss about other transactions and functions. for kite connect api thank you for watching this video